Pickle season has arrived. I have been pickling all the things here on the homestead. Everything I can pull in from the garden has been turning into a pickle of some sort. And in this video, I wanted to show you my favorite trick for quick refrigerator pickles. Seriously, you will not believe how easy this is. So I like to categorize pickles into three groups. This is just how I think about it. There are fermented pickles, which are kind of the old fashioned sour pickles that maybe your great grandma made. She would ferment them in a crock in a salty brine. Then there are your canned pickles, which are canned in mason jars like this. You add vinegar, you add the dill and the spices, and then they last on the shelf forever. But then there are the refrigerator pickles which are one of my favorite little tricks because they are the perfect solution if you have a slow trickle of vegetables coming in for your garden. You don't have quite enough to make a giant batch for the canner, but you still need to do something with them. So the cool thing about these pickles is you can literally make a jar at a time. They don't heat up your kitchen. You don't have to pull out the water bath canner and they will last for months in the refrigerator. Here's how this is gonna go. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of vegetable. So today I have pickling cucumbers straight from the garden. I just picked these this morning, but I've also used this exact same formula with beets, carrots, cauliflower, you name it. The most important thing is you use some sort of firm vegetable and ideally it'll be as fresh as possible. Now, as far as quantities go, you can make as much or as little as you like. I'm just gonna make a single quart jar today, but you could do a half gallon size jar, you could do a gallon size jar, really the sky is the limit when it comes to size. The only thing to keep in mind is it has to be able to fit into your refrigerator because these pickles are not shelf stable, but they will last a long time in the fridge. All right, first things first, I'm gonna pick some of the smallest cucumbers. So when it comes to pickling cucumbers, smaller is always better. And I say that with a grain of salt because I am the world's worst for forgetting that I have cucumbers in the garden and letting them get like baseball bats. But I picked some of the smaller selections for the video today. So don't be too impressed because I have some giant ones still out in the garden. So I'm gonna pick these small guys, small-ish, and give them a quick wash. And the next thing I wanna do is just trim them uh, if they need to. So there is a belief that if you leave the blossom end of a cucumber on the cucumber that it will cause your pickles to be more mushy. To be perfectly honest, I have not done scientific experiments to see if this is absolutely true, but I figure it's cheap insurance just in case to trim off the blossom end of the cucumber, which is the end that is opposite of where it was attached to the vine. And honestly, since the vines aren't super fun to eat, I just like to shave a little bit off of both ends of each of the cucumbers. Now, next up, we just need to put the vegetables or the cucumbers or whatever you're using into the jar. Now, if you have cute little guys like this, they'll just fit in there pretty easily. Some of the bigger cucumbers may or may not fit depending on the size that you're dealing with. So you can absolutely slice or um, dice these if you need to, but just keep in mind, the more you cut a pickle down, the more prone it will be to becoming mushy during the pickling process. Now, I don't worry about this as much with this refrigerator method, just because we're not cooking these pickles. They are basically going to be raw and we're just gonna let the vinegar do its thing in the refrigerator. So it's not as much of a concern, but just something to keep in mind. Now, I might have some issue. Some of these guys have chunky little bottom so I'm going to trim them down just so I can fit a few more in there Let's see what I can pack okay so I got those packed in as best as I could uh, the cool thing is let's say you only have two cucumbers ready from your garden you could go ahead and make this up like I'll show you with just the two cucumbers and as more come in over the coming days you would just add them into the jar. This is a luxury you do not have with fermented pickles or canned pickles, which is just another reason I think this little trick is so cool. All right, so we have our cucumbers in here. Now we need to add our flavorings. So technically, you can keep this super simple and just add the brine that I'm gonna make in just a minute. But because I love garlic dill pickles, I'm gonna add all of those pieces into this jar. So here's my recipe for that. All right, so I'd like to add a bay leaf to each quart size jar. Stick that in. Add a tablespoon of mustard seed. Add a half teaspoon or so, I'm just gonna eyeball it, 
of peppercorns. And almost forgot the dill, the most important part. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of dill weed. This is just dried dill because my dill out in the garden didn't do hot this year. But if you have fresh dill, you can just add a head of that into the jar. But I'll just add a tablespoon of this. This is really up to you how you wanna flavor this. If you like spicy pickles, you could add your peppers in here, you could add onions. It's really, really hard to mess this up. So feel free to play around with whatever flavorings you like. This is just the ratios that my family has come to love over the years. And last but not least, the garlic. I'm gonna add a couple cloves to this jar because when it comes to garlic, at least in my opinion, more is more. So don't skimp on the garlic. Technically, if you're a pickled garlic fan, you could just make an entire jar of pickled garlic. That would totally be legal. So we have everything in our jar. Now we just need to add the brine, which is super easy. So here's how that goes. So for the brine, for each quart size jar we're making, we need to add one cup of water and one cup of vinegar. Now obviously you can quadruple this, you can double it, whatever you need. Just make sure that your ratio of water and vinegar is equal, one to one. And I'm using apple cider vinegar here. You could also use uh, just regular white distilled vinegar vinegar, whatever you got. Into my vinegar water mixture, I'm going to add a tablespoon of fine sea salt and a tablespoon of organic sugar. Now this is not to make sweet pickles. These are definitely not sweet. These are garlic dill, but the sugar just offsets the acid ever so slightly and just makes the end result taste better. I'm gonna add this mixture into a saucepan and bring it to a quick boil just to help all of the salt and sugar dissolve properly. All right, once that comes to a boil, I like to let it cool for, I don't know, five or 10 minutes so we don't scorch the pickles. And then I add my brine mixture right into the jar. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure all of the garlic and the cucumbers are underneath the brine. And that is it, guys. We're just gonna put a lid on it and stick it in the fridge. And that is it. Sometimes I'll turn the jar upside down just gently to make sure all of the spices and herbs get mixed together, but it's really that easy. I would suggest that you wait at least 48 hours before you try one of your pickles just to give the vinegar and the salt time to do its thing. And the longer this sits in the fridge, the better it'll get. I would say eat it within about three to four months, but you don't have to be in a hurry because with the salt and the acid and the coolness of your refrigerator, this is a safe way to preserve little bits of beets, carrots, pickles, you name it, at a time.